It's showtime. What's up, everybody? I, the personified sin of Grand Cross here, Roy. And today we're gonna be tackling the training grotto. Now, of course, I'm mostly doing it for the missions that are required to get the last, uh, was it? Last copy of, uh, of Hawk. But also, I want to test out my new characters that I got, which was uh, Elizabeth and then, uh, of course, Camila. So let's get to it with the training grotto. And also, I just wanted to show off that what characters I usually use, or you know, the different types of characters that work within each one. So we're of course doing primarily uh, level three, and show you the teams I use. So for this one, which I'm trying to remember what he does. Let's see. So you can't remove all gauge. Right, so he, he can be petrified. So this one, I remember using uh, So we're going with blue characters. Let me double check, wait. Something you can't stun him. Okay. So for this, from remembering, I use Blue King for petrified. Mm. I think for this. Oh, sorry. I'm um, gonna click on you, Bond. For this, we're gonna go with Blue Merlin for her debuff and as well as her D ranks. And then I think for this one, we're gonna go with my favorite gal, the new legend Jericho, Chonko. And then we'll just throw any blue character in the back and I'll just put. Becking. Oh, I guess I can't put him with. Forgot about that. Uh, I think we'll just put Weinhardt in the back. We should be fine since our CC is pretty high with this team because of Chonko. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it goes with this team. Usually what I do, depending on the color of uh, diamond you choose, I prefer to go with like the mono opposite. So of course, if it's red, I'd go mono blue, you know, green, mono, mono red, etc. All right, so here we're gonna lower his defense, put explode, and then uh, derank him. Nice, we have a bunch of fights. Alright, so here. Ouch. So here. We're actually. We're actually gonna hold on to that petrify. We're gonna heal up. And then. Put this on. So you can't put that deep buff on us, which is good. Alright, so here. Alright, so here. We're gonna petrify, we're gonna D rank. We'll just do, actually we'll save that D rank. Do that. Actually you know what? We'll down the middle here. Now we have Kings and uh, Merlin Bolt. Nice. And we pretty much uh, finish it up here. Nice. 
Alright. Let's see what's next. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's go with level 3. So, our spontaneous mission to be able to obtain that uh, last copy of a hawk, because I already have him 5-6. It's just to clear it once, and that's what we're gonna do. So now we have the blue diamond, level three, and it's gonna be it's gonna be Hendrickson. All right, so he's blue, so we're going with green characters, and the obvious one for him, we're gonna be using Esterosa. Green Lilia to lower his attack related stats. And we're gonna be using. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put this green goat there for his passive. And then we're gonna throw. I just had him here. Oh, there he is. Alley on in the back, just for the attack related stats boost. And yeah, let's go. Alright, so here's good. So we can we can uh, start rushing uh, Lilia's ult here. Oh, there's tech related stats and twelfth counter. Nice. Unfortunately, we don't have another counter, but that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Uh, make up Lilia. One card. And do this. Although it'll reset the, the attack related stats. To be lowered, we do have this three star uh, damage taken. So, I'm gonna apply that, ult, and then just put it to counter again. Alright, so we finished that spontaneous mission. So we're at level three. We're gonna be fighting the, the what I call the oogly boogly monster. All right, so here we're gonna go mono red. From what I remember, I think the best one is a uh, red derriere. Where is she? No, oh, she's right here. Red derriere. I like using uh, Festival Red Elaine. She's right here for her uh, for one of her skill cards that she uh, I believe lowers defense stats. Uh, yeah, defense related stats. And then. 
I'll throw in Roxy in there for her explosion. And then I'm gonna put Twigo in the back. The HP. And yeah. It's mono red for you. So here we're gonna lower his defense and actually you wanna put the explosion and then just do this with barrier. I remember if I can stun him. Let me check real quick. Okay, I can. We're gonna work on uh, Elaine's ult and attack with Darius. No. Roxy survive. Here comes his ult. Oh, she survives. Nice. All right. So we're gonna lower it. Hmm. Attack and then stun. down the middle here. So I can hit once with the uh, Roxy before she dies. <laughs> nice, now we can finish it off with the uh, derriere result. Oh, she's tanking it, yes. Survive, Roxy. Nice. <laughs> she tanked it. Go down the middle, this, and this should finish it off. And the kill. Nice. Right, now we're on the part where we have to face the team that I believe it's re the one you recently used so on this one so the next spontaneous event is that it'll decrease stamina consumption by 50% and it'll be just one time so this one won't cost as much of our stamina but we have a lot so the team we're gonna be facing is oh the mono green Green Gulther, Esterosa, Lilia, and Allium. So of course, Mono Red. And... Hmm. I think I'm gonna do uh, what I call Team Ignite. We can do Demon Meliodas. We're gonna go with uh, Vivian. Throwing Keo in there. And what do we throw in the back? I think I'm put Red Jungle in the back. Yeah. 
for her attack related stats. And yep, a out CC our uh, our characters. Let's see how it goes. So of course I need to get rid of uh, Esterosa for his commandment. So he does apply the ignites here, nice. So we just uh, hammer through with the ignites. Boom, boom, and boom. Ooh, close. Luckily, he didn't have his counter, otherwise, he would have. But. Oh. This should uh, get rid of him. Yeah. Nice. And Kyo won't get his uh, attack rating. It's good. Can't attack with Hephaeus with that being lower, but now we can take down uh, Gota here. This and put another ignite on uh, Lilia. So Lily is gone, and we start working on uh, I should do this. So Lily is gone, and we'll just throw this off. Boom. Ooh, close. Just have a uh, Vivian finish it off. Completing that spontaneous event, we need just one more to do, and we're on part two of this. We have six more to go, technically, eight, including the ones that we face our own teams. So now we got Lou, level three, and it's the knight. So we're gonna be using the green characters here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use Omega. For his, uh, for lowering attack related stats. Mm hmm. Let me double check on something real quick. Oh, nice. So we can freeze him, so I'm gonna put and throw in, uh, Gustav. We're gonna put in Green Festival Meliodas. And then I think I'll just put. Hmm. Honestly, I forgot her name. <laughs> her, her name. Oh, Jillian Trader. My apologies. And yeah. Let's see how this uh, mixed bag of uh, characters works out. Mm, interesting. 
So here, let me see, can we apply debuffs? Right. Okay. So, with this, this, and this. On. So now we have Meliodas's ult for next turn. Nice. So we'll do this. I have him, I believe, uh, four six. Yeah, four six. See the damage. Nice. And we got our, our old cage back. Luckily, I, I think he has a trigger for when you kill him close to low health. I'm trying to remember. I think otherwise we finished him off. Alright, so now we're doing level 3 red against Helbrim. Human form Helbrim. So here we're gonna go blue characters. So hmm trying to remember. So he can be stunned. Okay nice. So here if we're lucky hopefully actually I'm gonna try out Blue Elizabeth. We're gonna go with Blue Arthur. You know, you gotta have the double stun team right here. And then I'll put in Mikasa for her passive. I think I'll just put Marmite in the back. And yep, let's go. We got the double stun. If we have Arthur's level three, and of course Mikasa. Right, so not a bad start here, so Shield up, and I think uh, let's move this card. We work. Hopefully, we get a another card of Elizabeth, and we do. Nice. Right. So here, we'll do this. I'll probably save this for the next turn. And attack. We'll put a bleed on. Alright, All right, so here. Put this, put the shield, and then I think just combine cards. Uh, 
since we still have that reflective shield. Now we have Mikasa's ult for next turn. Of course, we'll finish this off, but I just want to double check real quick on her stats. So, I've already got five times 7,000, not too bad. And, yep, this should uh, finish it off. So now, the next spontaneous event is that gold box drop rates are going to be twice. Two times the rate of it. And next is a blue level 3. It's going to be the big dragon. So we got to go with green characters. So this one, if I'm trying to remember, I used Eren, giant form. Green Deanne for her taunts. We're gonna go with. Hmm. I'm gonna go with my favorite gal, Junko. And then. Hmm. I think I'll just put green. Hmm. I'll put green Elaine in the back. See how this goes. Hopefully, we get good uh, RNG here. We'll just rush uh, Aaron's ult for his uh, for his ultimate, which will decrease attack-related stats from the enemy. And nice, we got a good start here. Which cards? What does this do? Table vote moves. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just use the cards. Nice damage there. Do we get another card of his? No, we don't. But we do have a two-star taunt for... Yeah, so that's good. We'll do that. And start attacking with my Gaucho. Ooh. No, <laughs> don't kill her off. Ouch. And there goes that three star taunt. But good merger for the girl jump. And ooh, nice. Right, so here, just throw this D rank. Combine cards with Junko. And actually, hmm, yeah, let's see the damage. <laughs> yes, 112,000. Thank you, thank you, my, my waifu. Yes, representing. All right, so now we're going to be facing team two within our our account and we have one more of the spontaneous events it's two times who are we facing the team we're facing is gonna be ooh mono green the team that we just used so of course going with mono red and with that said, going mono. I'm gonna be using mono for this one. We'll go Red Elbrum. 
Red, uh, Hauser. And then, I think just throw him. I think I'll put Red Archer in the back. Yeah. Ooh. Barely, barely. I think. Let's see. I'm gonna do this. That, that. And, alright. Let's see how we do against Mono Green. Mono against Mono Green. Here. Sad to say, the main problem is my Jocko, so we need to get rid of her. Oh, that didn't even break the shield. Hellbrum's ult for next turn with doing this. And just throwing this off. Oh, that hurt a little bit. For having to kill off my Jonko. But it had to be done. You are the strongest. Alright, so let's put on the deal here. Lower that health of Eren and just ult. Ooh, nice. And all we have left is green lane. Ooh, nice. Mm. So here we'll do this, petrify, and then attack with uh, mono should be enough to finish it off. Yes. Right, on to part three of this training grotto, we were able to complete the last spontaneous event. Since we only needed three, but onward, so we're going to green level three against, is it, the, is it a fairy? Oh, against that elf, or fairy. So we're going mono red. So for her, we're gonna throw in Red Merlin. I think we'll put Red Slater, Red King, and then I think uh, we'll just throw Simon in the back. how this team works out I believe I'm able to put debuffs on her hopefully if not it would be probably a bad choice of putting Slater in so I can see. let me just double check real quick and you know, petrify okay so I am able to put a debuff on her so you can't do anything this Nice. We got another set of it. Now let me double check on something real quick. Am I able to freeze her? That's the thing. And nope. Could stun though, that's good. Now then. Merge. Apply it again. 
And just do this. Alright, so here, can't do much since we applied that debuff. And then we'll just add a, a explosion. Yeah, explosion. Nice. Got another one, preventing her from doing that, and I think we just finish it off with go. Good. Red Spider wasn't a bad choice for this one since you can uh, prevent her debuffs. I guess another character you can use is also uh, was it Blue Merlin for her for her two star rank. But yeah, we'll get another spontaneous event. But we already completed it. But at least we'll get a hammer for it. Now onto the green level three against that skeleton. We go with red. I'm actually going to use Escanor on this one. We'll go with... I'm going to throw in Gale Thunder. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to test out new uh, Camila in this one. And just throw in a uh, pipe on. Check out Camila. So I do. I use one of my full, full awakening uh, stones on her, and I only have her at level sixty right now. Still getting the materials, but yeah. So I think. Let me double check if I can put debuffs. Ooh, can't use her stun, but we're gonna rush her ults here. Two stars. Not bad. All right, so here. Combine guards with uh, the guilt thunder and use his uh his shield. And then now we have uh, Camila's ult for next turn. There, of course. All right, so let's let's check out her uh, her ult. Do this, and then just hit with the uh, Escanor. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Now yeah, almost tall as uh as Escanor, oh jeez. Right, so nice. So do this, this I'm trying to remember. I don't think you can open it, so hmm. Yeah, I will still do this. Might not work, but this will do the damage. Oh. oh, we are able to old drain. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, we don't have more cards for her, but that's okay. This. And now we have uh, 
Kill Thunders and Escanors. Oh, which will, which will finish it off. Or depending if I have Camila cards for the next one. Let's see, and we don't. I think Guild Thunder can uh, finish it off here. Here it comes. Two more to go. Able to complete that spontaneous event. Now we, oh, the one I hate the most. Red level three, we got that guy. That giant monster. So here, hmm. Let me see something. Right, so here. Here we're gonna go with uh, a usual. Easton, Lilia, and Meliodas with my girl Junko in the back. And see how this uh, all turns out. start but that's fine so here we'll do this we'll just start throwing damage at them lower his health as much as we can oh that was nice all right okay Buff up, but actually, wait. Buff up. Heal up. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Double heal. So we can have her all. Hopefully, she can survive this for the next turn. Lilia, you gotta survive. Oh yes, okay. Nice, alright, so here. Oh good thing we just Lily survived, so we're gonna do this. We have Easton Zone for next turn and that bam. Here, Easton finishes it off. Nice. Alright, now we're uh, on our last one. 
the last parts of this, our last battle against ourselves. Who are we facing for this? And it's going to be Mono Blue, Lilia, Easton, Meliodas, and Junko. And we're going to be using, of course, the green characters that I do have, which I think I'll use. Primarily, I'll probably have all AoE, but actually, we'll do this. I'm going to go with Green, Bond, this, Green, Gila. Green, uh, Green Dian, Green Giant Dian, <clears throat> and I think it'll just throw in uh, Merlin in the back. see how this team only going above a thousand CC Let's see how this team goes against mine mono blue oh right so let's do this Merge cars, and then we'll have Bond's ult for next turn. Hmm, what do I want to take out here? I think I'll probably take out Lilia. So Lilia's doesn't do that much damage. Right, ooh. Hmm. So you know what? Let's do this. Lower their defense related stats and actually still go for the Leo. Right. Right, so this should be enough to bring them down and then combine cards at the end and see who's left over. Ooh. And he's just with the ult. Oh, she wipe out my team. Oh, close. Alright, we're gonna do, we're gonna finish this off with the three star Gila. Here it comes. rewards there and yeah we completed the training grotto as i call for the training grotto experiment to see you know what certain teams and what certain units you can use to easily do those level threes and of course in our special mission we just finished the last one and got our last copy of hawk so now let's go check them out which uh, I think I only have him at level 60. Where is he? There he is. And now our last copy is at maxed out. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, experiment within the training grotto. Maybe do more once new characters come out. We'll see. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until next time, Roy is out.